What's up chicas? Welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is going to be my summer um, essentials, my summer favorites I would say, um, beauty and fashion. And I'm really excited about this video because um, we, get to talk about, uh, we get to talk about what really girls like to talk about. Makeup and clothing. Come on. <laughs> so if you guys want to see what are my beauty and my fashion essentials, like my favorites for this summer, all you have to do is keep watching. I don't even know you. Alright, so let's get to it because I have quite a few products that I want to show to you guys and I want to share with you guys and I'm really excited about this video if you can't tell already. <laughs> so first off, I'm going to start with makeup. Um, I have to say foundation wise, these two foundations have been my holy girl now in summer. This one is the L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation. And the reason why is because it gives me sort of like a um, glowy finish. It kind of maintains my face hydrated during the day. I have dry skin, so I've been loving this foundation for that. The other one is the Milani Conceal in Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. Reason why I've been loving this one, because it's water resistant and sweat proof. And Florida weather, you have to have something that is going to not allow your face to melt away with the 150 degree weather we have now in summer. <laughs> and I've been wearing it for the pool and for the beach and I've seen that it actually does not move. Like honestly, it doesn't move. So these two foundations I have been loving. Um, this face palette, I gotta say, like I came across it not so long ago, but I've been obsessed with this face palette. This is from Pixie by Petra. And the reason why I'm loving it is because it has everything you need pretty much in one whole palette. I'm like, yes, boo. As you can see, it has beautiful colors. It has uh, eyeliners on top. It has um, crease, what is it called? Crease shadows, lid hues, highlights. It has a bronzer, it has a highlight, and it has a pretty much a, God, I can't talk, a blush. So I have been loving this palette. I love the colors, they're so cute, and you have everything in one single palette. Uh, for highlight, I have to say, yes, I've been obsessed with the Jaclyn Hill um, Champagne Pop, but these two have come to be my holy grail. Why? Because it doesn't move. I actually apply this to go to the pool and to the beach and when I come home, bam, my highlight is still on tact. I'm like, ah, intact actually. My highlight is still on point. And this is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Multi Stick. And it's pretty much just a pinky frosty color. I already swatched it for you guys on my favorites because I spoke about it. And what I do is I apply this color. This is the color, um, Marigold Round, Marigold Round, and then I use the ColourPop Stole the Show Super Shock Cheek uh, Highlight. Ah! And what I like to do is I like to place that on top, and it creates sort of like a, I don't know, just, I love it, look at that. I I absolutely love it and the reason that it doesn't go anywhere with the water and stuff is because I'm applying that stick highlight so when I apply that stick highlight and um, and then the the consistency of this is not like a powdery or anything um, so it just creates sort of like a like a I would say a liquid not liquid like a cream highlight sort of thing in my face and it stays all day and I'm telling you like I have been loving that highlight like yes and now for glow I've been obsessing over the elf bronzing palette which includes all your bronze you have matte satin and shimmer and pretty much anything you want you can contour you can do a bronzy look I have been obsessed with that the other thing I've been obsessed with is the elf body glow I'm not gonna open it I spoke about it it's a shimmery it's a powder and it's shimmery and I like to apply it everywhere when I'm going out um, and if I have a tan, perfect. I apply it on my shoulders, I apply it on my neck, on my torso and of course if I'm wearing shorts, a skirt or a, a dress, I apply it on my legs and it gives me such a beautiful glow and it's like three bucks. I lie. I think it's like six bucks at Target. Um, I have been using the Better Than Sex, the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara in waterproof and I love this. It has like drops of water and you touch it and it just feel, like, freaking feels so cool <laughs> so i've been loving this um mascara for the pool of course it's waterproof and it doesn't move it doesn't go anywhere how do i remove it with either my garnier cleansing or water or the i think it's called the l'oreal uh, makeup remover oil it comes off really really quick and it doesn't doesn't drain it doesn't leak it doesn't do anything in the pool so i've been loving this one um 
concealer. Oh my god, <laughs> I've been loving that mascara. <laughs> and then to top it off, I can't, I really can't. I mean, I feel really bad saying it because this is all I talk about on my channel. But just nude brown colors are, have been my go-to uh, lipsticks for summer. So NYX Lingerie 07 is my holy girl. Um, 09 as well. Uh, Lip Land in the color Empire, which is like this brown color. It's just, I kind of mixed it a little bit. It's just a brown color. I don't have it with me, but I wish I did. Let me see. No. No, I don't have it with me, but I will name it down below. I also been loving the Ofra by Manny MUA in Aries. I also been loving the um, Lip Land with Amrezi Rezi. Now, I do have to share you guys, these two products go together perfectly well and I have been enjoying using them. First off is the Jergens Instant Sun Flawless uh, Mousse. I have been loving this thing right here. It's drugstore, it's affordable, and it doesn't leave me orangey, it doesn't leave me streaky or anything like that. I feel like I have a natural looking tan. And then I go in and, oh my god, this has come to be my holy grail, honestly. This is the... Soap and Glory, the Rashes Butter Sun Kiss Stint Body Lotion. And that's what it does. It gives you such a, like, it gives you a sun kissed hand. Look at the colors. You guys, if you see that right there, you guys already know it's dark. And it's just so beautiful. That is what I'm wearing right now. If you've seen a little, with a little bit of color, I haven't tanned. I actually just been applying this. And I've been loving it. I apply it on my legs. I apply it everywhere. And it gives me such a beautiful color. Like, mwah. So, moving on. Let's start with um, accessories. Let's go with the shoes. And then we'll move on to a handbag. Okay, so these shoes right here are Steve Madden. These are nude pointy pumps. I had to have them. I have a very small foot. Okay, so before you guys start judging me and make fun of me that the tag is still there. <laughs> yes, the size six. I'm a five, five and a half in heels. Okay, mostly five and a half. So these are six, but I really needed to buy them. I really needed to have them. I was like, I told my husband, I was like, no, they're screaming my name. Even though they hurt like hell when I wear them, I'm still going to be rocking them. I'm still going to be like, ah, yeah. But inside I'm like, ah, ah, it's full of my blood because they're just killing my toes but come on you know you rather take it and look good than just to look ugly because you know like oh I should have had those shoes so I finally got them I really wanted some nude pumps and the best thing about them is that I got them for like 18 bucks like most of my clothes I'm gonna tell you something ladies I live in Florida I don't know if outside Florida there's this store called Ross um, I really don't. It's like a Marshalls or a TJ Maxx. I'm pretty sure there's TJ Maxx everywhere. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on Ross. I am, like I said, I've, I don't know. Um, but Ross is like TJ Maxx. Ross is like Marshalls and stuff like that. And I tell you, I love going there first than going to brand name stores. Again, I have kids. I have bills. I need to live. And I, I need to feed my kids. I'm not going to be spoiling myself and buying me shirts that are like $300, $400. If you can't afford it and you and you don't have kids and you work hard for your money, then that's different. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I have friends who don't have kids. They work really hard and they go in themselves and they get this luxury brand name bags and shoes and purses. And I'm like, yes, girl, looks good. I love it. I'm not hating or I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just putting this disclaimer out there because I don't want people to be like, oh, but you because people here on YouTube are fast to comment and fast to criticize you, okay? So don't get me wrong. If you work hard for your, for your stuff and you hustling, go for it. Okay, don't get me wrong with that. Before I go to these name brand stores, this is where I go first. And I'm telling you, I have, sp I have known to spend like $150 at Charlotte Russe, which that's my favorite store. And I probably get like three pants and two shirts, honestly. But I've known to go to Ross and spend $150 and get myself jeans, shoes, shirts, accessories, purses, and even get my family stuff. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so I've got these shoes at Ross and they were 18 bucks. And I said, hell yeah, they're Steve Madden. So I was like, why not? <laughs> so I love these shoes and I have been wearing them lately nonstop, even though they hurt like hell, but nobody needs to know. Okay. So the other shoes, these are actually 
got these are guests G by Guess, and I got these also at Ross, and they were like $25. This one a little bit more expensive. So I love me some wedges. These are like a corally color, and again, I got them at Ross. They're G by Guess, and I've been obsessing with these shoes. Like, I mean, they just scream summer, honestly. Like, yeah, so. The other one, it was a gift, and I just find them so cute. They're these orangey cor corally sandals, and they have like this little things hanging and I've been obsessed with them they're just so cute and they're super comfortable these were from Target and they were a gift the other thing is you guys have been asking so much is my little purse handbag whatever you want to call it and my son already wrote on it so these is Steve Madden as you see I am obsessed with Steve Madden like I have Four other purses are Steve Madden and I don't know I just love Steve Madden this is a Steve Madden purse and I got it at TJ Maxx <laughs> and I think it was like I think it was like $30 I want to say this has been my current obsession I wear it all the time I don't care if I wear green blue or orange I'm still wearing my purse I have been obsessing with blush colors lately like crazy you will see. So this has been my go-to purse. I love it. It's so easy to carry and it's not it doesn't weigh a lot and you don't have to, you don't and it's small. You don't have to put a lot of things in it so it doesn't kind of like um it's heavy. This bag here has been my go-to bag for the pool and the beach. It's so big, it's so pretty and it's so practical. I got it at Target. So so I got this one at F21 by Forever 21. Um, so this shirt I got it there. I absolutely love it. Then I got this shirt also. Like I said, I've been loving nude and blush colors. This shirt is just sort of like a... I don't know. You, these type of shirts that you just throw on and you keep walking. I just I just love it. This one is that was at Ross as well. And this is sort of my style. Shirts like this. That's what you're going to see me in. That's what I feel comfortable in. And here is the highly requested one, which is this one right here. It says coffee, love, and music. And you guys are probably going to hate me, but I also got this at Ross. And that's the thing with Ross and TJ Maxx and Marshalls is that you get limited quantities. You probably get like two small, one large, and two mediums or something like that. And that's pretty much the, the only thing I like. hate. That's why people ask me where I got my stuff. And I'm like, ugh. I know you probably won't find it because that's why. But this was a Ross. But I've seen TJ Maxx have these like these type of shirts like this. I don't know what they're called. They're just my holy grail shirts. Especially this one. I'm not wearing this one now because I'm recording. And I've been using this one for the past two weeks. But I washed it. Okay. So then these jeans um, I recently got. But I've been loving like these jeans I recently got because I finally found them in my size. These are high waisted skinny, high waisted skinny jeans. And look at the color. This is like a like a nude color. Oh, this is, was a Charlotte Russe. And these pants I love because they're high waisted and they're skinny on the bottom. So it looks good with any type of shoes. It looks good with tennis shoes. It looks good with high heels, pumps, anything like that. Oh, but wait a minute. Look at this one. Look at this color, you guys. This blush. <laughs> and it's also um, high-waist skinny jeans. Yes, I'm a size zero. God, people, you guys got to point it out. Make me feel bad about it. Ugh. Then this jeans I got at Forever 21. These are my holy grail jeans. They're, a, they're not long. They're a little short, a little bit past the knee, and I have been loving it. And the, these are like like jeggings I want to say because they're not as rough as jeans but they're also not as flexible as leggings but you still can vent them and whatever and oh my god these have been my holy grail just the dark blue denim color I love and these ones I got at forever 21 so yes those things you can have so the other two things I really want to share with you guys is because of the color like I've told you I've been obsessing with this color they're pencil skirts and they are of course blushed and nude like, I am obsessed with these colors, and especially pencil skirts. Like, this pencil skirt, I got it at, I think this was at Ross also. Yeah, this was at Ross, TJ Maxx, Marshall, whichever. <laughs> this pencil skirt, and then this pencil skirt was at Charlotte Roos. Oh, look at that color. Yes, I love it. I've been loving this type of skirts. 
and even though I'm skinny as hell, I still wear them. I don't grow. So the last thing I want to share with you guys is my bathing suit, and I've gotten a lot of questions as to where my bathing suit is from. This is... This is the bottom part of the bathing suit. It's a high-waisted bathing suit, and it has, like, like oh, lines there, as you guys can see. So it's a high-waisted bathing suit, and then it has this top part, which is sort of like a mesh. It looks like a sport bra, and it has a mesh. And then, of course... Okay, so a little FYI as to why I got a bathing suit like this. You'll say, oh my god, Francis, you're going to get a weird tan. Yeah, I do get a weird tan, but sometimes I just remove it and leave it hanging, and then I just try to get burned here. The reason why is I'll tell you why. If you guys, if any of you ladies have my problem, which is you guys don't have a lot of breasts, oh, I said it. I don't. I thank God for Victoria's Secret. If it wasn't for Victoria's Secret, I don't know where my line would be right now. <laughs> so... I don't care. It's who I am. I don't have a lot of breast. Um, I don't have big boobs. I am thinking about getting some done. We'll see. <laughs> so it's really hard for me to find a bathing suit that it's not gonna pop up and then you can see that there's nothing there. <laughs> so and then the ones that go to the side like this, I am scared that I'm jumping or like I'm just going on the slides and it just poof, you know what I mean? So if you don't have that problem, then God bless you, girl. But I have that problem. So I love the fact that I found one that ties in the top but has something that can cover if it comes up or anything like that. I just feel so comfortable in this bathing suit. Like, you don't even know. I love, 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 love it. And I got it at Target. So I was like, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. So anyways, that is it. That is all that I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys um, like my style. You know, you probably don't find it too conservative. <laughs> I'm a mother. Um, yeah, so I really hope you guys like it. Let me know what are your summer essentials have been, like clothing-wise, like shoes-wise and stuff like that. Um, you can always take a picture and tag me on Instagram so I can see your outfits, what have been your... Uh, summer essentials like your shoes. Hey friends, I've been loving these shoes. I've been loving this shirt I've been loving this pants the skirt Purse, let me know take a picture and tag me on Instagram This is my Instagram down below and I really would love to see your style would definitely love to see what you guys have been loving So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so. Thank you so much for sticking till the end Besotes, be blessed precious pearls. I will see you ladies on my next video. Bye